with one in three organizations already using AI ops, cost savings of up to 50% and productivity improvements of up to 45% has been seen. The number one is the C stage funding that recorded 60% growth quarter on quarter. So uh, starting with partnerships, uh, we saw GE Healthcare expanding partnership with TCS to transform IT operating model to accelerate innovation and improve resilience. Hi there, and welcome to the August episode of NASCOM Insights Tech Bytes. I am your host Achyuta Ghosh, and I am here to take you through the highlights of the latest technology, thought leadership, and market intelligence from NASCOM. Here is what we will be covering in this episode today. We will be discussing two exciting reports that we launched last month. The first one being NASCOM's first report on AI Ops, which focuses on how this technology has become key to achieving tech agility and the second one being the latest NASCOM Zinov Tech Startup Quarterly Investment Factbook for Q2 CY 2023 which includes funding statistics by volume, value, stage and other metrics that provide insights into key verticals, deep tech, MNAs related to the Indian startup ecosystem during the June end quarter. We will also cover key leader talk sessions with industry experts that we featured in the NASCOM Insights channel last month in addition to trending themes for the month in different segments of the tech industry which includes IT, BPM, engineering, Indian startups and some key transactions. Whether you are a tech enthusiast, a business leader or someone who wants to stay updated on the latest tech news, NASCOM Insights Tech Bytes is the show for you. So viewers, sit back, relax and let's dive in. But before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel to stay updated with the latest happenings in India's tech industry. Click the subscribe button and smash the bell icon right now. I will now call upon the analyst who will share key findings from the reports released this month. For our AI Ops report, titled AI Ops, the key to achieving tech agility, we have Sneha with us. Sneha, welcome to Tech Bytes. Thanks Achuta for having me on the show. Sneha, you authored NASCOM's first report on AI Ops. What all did you include in it? Achuta, the report provides an overview of AIOps, the player landscape, challenges and key trends in addition to a suggested AIOps tech stack, AIOps tool evaluation framework and playbook for enterprise adoption. Along with this, there are 25 plus detailed case studies on successful AIOps implementation. Thank you, that's quite comprehensive Sneha. Um, to get started, could you provide a brief overview of the AI Ops as a technology and how does the Indian AI Ops market look like? Sure. AI Ops is a rapidly growing field in IT management that leverages AI and ML technologies to automate IT operations and enhance its overall efficiency. With one in three organizations already using AI Ops, cost savings of up to 50% and productivity improvements of up to 45% has been seen. Global AI Ops platform's market was about $8 billion in 2022 and is forecasted to reach $80 billion by 2032, estimated to grow at a 10x rate in the next 10 years. Indian AI Ops end users are still maturing, with largely companies being at the monitoring stage. Platforms and service providers mainly face budget constraints from consumers in implementing AI Ops and hence are reaching out to global customers. Despite barriers, there is a growing interest in AI Ops in India. Okay, could you share some market adoption trends within AI Ops? Sure. With IT environments quickly scaling at record rates, traditional IT management approaches have taken a back seat. More than 50% of businesses have either fully enabled or begun implementing AI into their workflow. Fastest growing implementation of AI Ops has come in the form of cyber security, with it being the top use case for AI. Thanks, Nia. And lastly, uh, any recommendations to maximize AI Ops adoption? Sure. To start AI Ops journey, learn about AI Ops today and start by choosing small, achievable use cases. 
experiment by using open source tools and demonstrate simple ideas to begin. AI Ops is a journey, not a destination. Implementing AI Ops and getting the results takes time. Thank you, Sneha, uh, for sharing your insights on AI Ops. The report download link is in the description box below. This report is a free publication. Download it right now. For our next report, the Tech Startups Quarterly Investment Factbook, we have Ashish to discuss some key findings from the report. Welcome to the show, Ashish. Thanks, Ajita. Uh, so, Ashish, what were the key tech startup investment trends in the quarter? Last quarter continued to be a bit tough for Indian tech startups. Funding continues to be a big concern and last quarter we saw funding of just $1.3 billion which is 4% higher from the previous quarter. So summer funding is a bit better from the previous quarter but it is still quite low if you compare it to the previous year and this is almost down by 75%. Now if you look at the number of deals also the numbers are not so good. In the last quarter, the total number of deals stands at 197, which is 23% down from the previous quarter and 58% down year on year. This number of deals is also the lowest in last 1.5 years, which is a big cause of concern. So overall funding continues to hurt the sentiments of the Indian tech startup ecosystem. Sure, Ashish. Uh, but even if the funding winter is here, do you see any positive signs in the ecosystem? Definitely, definitely. So uh, this is the most interesting part of this quarter that even though the funding and deal numbers were low, but a lot of positive signals that we can talk about. The number one is the seed stage funding that recorded 60% growth quarter on quarter, while late stage funding is back on the investor's radar of, and observed a 50% rise from the previous quarter. So this high growth of 50% in seed and early stage confirms that there is a value that new and mature startups are still creating into the startup ecosystem. Similarly, we have seen that a uh, very positive sign from the nascent verticals. So earlier we have seen that usually legacy verticals dominate. But this, in this quarter, we have seen that mobility, defense, automotive, and energy are the key funded verticals in this quarter. We have observed 2 to 3x growth in these verticals. Plus, we have also seen that more less than almost 40% of the funding share belongs to just two verticals, mobility and automotive. So this all confirms that investors are very much active in the startup ecosystem. It's just that they are very focused and targeted in their investment. Um, Ashish, are there any key strategic market trends that you saw in this quarter? Absolutely, Ajuda. Uh, from the strategy perspective also, last quarter has seen some interesting trends. And number one was that there is a renewed interest in deep tech startups. We have seen that AI-led deep tech startups recorded a 79% surge in funding growth during the last quarter. Also, another interesting trend that we found out that the, uh, the gap between the debt versus equity funding, uh, which has reduced by over 70% in the last one year, is somehow uh, decreasing because the, there was a financial crisis in the, in the last one year, but that trend is reversing now. And this, this uh, means that the funding sentiments are improving and entrepreneurs and investors are getting back into their normal mode of equity funding. The another trend that uh, we have observed that the, there is a growth in revenue and EBITDA of the publicly listed startups. This is very important since uh, new, most new listing IPOs struggled in the past, we have seen that, and which lowered the sentiments of the upcoming IPOs. Hence, this growth actually confirms that and will send a positive signal into the market and hopefully we will see more IPOs in the coming quarter. Thank you, Ashish. Um, viewers, please be reminded that this report can also be downloaded for free. The description box below includes a link to the download. Next, we have Shagun to give a quick synopsis of some of our recent thought leadership sessions and why you should watch them. Welcome to the show, Shagun. Thanks, Achita. We had three very insightful sessions in July. The first one was an analyst corner segment in which as a prelude to the Q1 FY24 financial result announcements, we had insightful discussion with Abhishek Shindatkar, Associate Director in Credit Capital. The conversation revolved around demand scenario, expected trends in revenue and margin growth, key vertical and geographic trends, operational metric trends such as headcounts and attrition impact of Gen AI on uh, tech industry and FY24 outlook. The second tech talk of the month explored the growth and development of GCCs in India. During this session, we had discussion around key trends, insights and, and drivers in the GCC space, India value proposition for a GCC perspective, GCC outlook for 2024 and inculcating diversity, equity and inclusion 
and sustainability as a strategic business imperative. For this discussion, we had leaders from Zenov, Swissray and Brookfield properties. On our final tech talk for the month was one of the most awaited and anticipated topic, Generative AI Startup in India. The session revolved around Gen AI use case across industries, importance of collaborations and partnership for the growth of Gen AI companies, market alignment and growth potential, funding trends and challenges and opportunities. For the session, we were joined by the leaders from InsurSTech, Vodex.ai, United v Care, and Inflection Point Venture. Thanks, Shagun. The links to the session are in the description box, viewers. Request you to view them and share your comments. Next up, let's take a look at some of the most recent trends and insights in the tech industry. I will invite Prajwal to join us and share his thoughts on this and give us the inside scoop on what happened in the Indian tech industry in July 2023. Thanks, Achuta. Uh, Prajwal, what major trends are we seeing this month in the Indian tech industry? Okay, so starting with IT services and BPM, we observed building AI talent as a key trend. So Indian tech companies are investing to train and scale employees with AI skills. Uh, generally speaking, IT services organizations have been stepping up their AI game and devoting more and more resources to AI related tasks as ChatGPT like AI technologies are gaining more and more popularity. Next we have sustainable data centers as another highlighting trend, where Indian tech companies are collaborating to develop sustainable solutions for data centers. So the aim is to improve efficiency, productivity and modernization of data centers, reducing the overall carbon footprint. Our next industry segment is ERND, where we see driving innovation as one of the key trends. Indian tech companies are collaborating to offer customers with a combination of advanced engineering services and transforming operating models for managing application estate and driving innovation. Coming to startups, we have Startup India Seed Fund Scheme, which is a new theme in this segment. So over 1000 startups were selected under this, this scheme to provide cumulative financial support of rupees uh, 177 crores as of April 30th, 2023. Now the number of recognized startups in the country grew to more than 98,000 as of April 30th, 2023 from 428 in 2016. Prajwal, thanks for sharing the latest trends in the industry. Could you also give us some examples of contracts and partnerships that were announced in India tech sector last month? Sure, Achuta. So uh, starting with partnerships, uh, we saw G Healthcare expanding partnership with TCS to transform IT operating model to accelerate innovation and improve resilience. We also saw HCL Tech and Schneider Electric collaborate to develop sustainability solutions for data centers in the Asia Pacific region. For contracts, we saw TCS being selected by the British Broadcasting Corporation BBC to transform its finance and payroll functions and manage the application estate for greater agility and resilience and will leverage TCS Cognix. Thanks for the key transaction yeah. details, uh, Prajwal. Could you also share any acquisitions that you may have noticed last month? Sure, Ajuda. So in terms of uh, acquisitions, we, we observed HCL Tech, you know, to acquire German automotive engineering services company ASAP Group. Now the transaction is expected to close in September 2023. The acquisition will boost HCL Tech by strengthening its advanced technology capabilities in the fast growing automotive engineering services segment in Europe. Prajwal, thanks for sharing the insights. The episode for this month comes to an end. Thank you for dialing in viewers. I hope you found this episode informational. The NASCOM community and the NASCOM website is where you can download our reports. Keep checking back as we have a great lineup of reports for August covering a variety of themes such as Gen AI impact on the tech sector, LLM ops, SaaS, deep tech, emerging tech delivery locations in India, etc. To receive notifications as soon as new videos are added to the NASCOM Insights channel, kindly click the bell button. If you like this video, then please do share it and I eagerly await your comments on the video. Stay safe and keep coming back to the channel.